boys, welcome back. Thank yeah. you very much. It's great to be back. Yeah, two, two, after, two years after the, your first appearance. Yeah, yeah, Creature Below 2016. <laughs> that was crazy. And yes, yeah. uh, yeah, so fantastic to come back. So you had quite a day yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of an understatement for us. Yeah. yeah. It was intense. The screening was because yeah. we were like first one of the day, so everyone was quite fresh mm -hmm. and up for something. And um, yeah, everyone seemed to really love it. And the response um, was amazing. Yeah, people cheering, clapping, laughing yeah. when they should have been laughing, laughing at the right places. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> not laughing at the wrong places. That's, that's important. That's important. <laughs> yeah. So um, tell us about your, how did it all come about? Because you know, after your first film, how did you go about making this one? Yeah, I mean, we we did Creature Below with Fright Fest, and then we got the response from it. We got feedback from it, and we we really wanted to take that and kind of turn all the negatives into mm. positives for this one really so we learned a lot of lessons mm. about cgi and various things and what <laughs> fright fest audiences want and what we really wanted to make next as well because yeah. it we, was we kind of wanted to shift tones a little bit yeah didn't we? because uh, creature blow was a psychological kind of um horror it was all very contained um and our biggest feedback was well we want to a bit more fun, a bit more lively kind of, and, and we love lively action movies. Mm. Um, we'd never really done comedy before, uh, and we thought, well, if we're gonna do something that's really out there, lots of practical effects, let's push the boat out and try comedy as well. And hopefully it's done an all right and, job. And, and <laughs> talking of the practical effects, mm. Now, talk about making life difficult for yourself. Why, <laughs> why did you go down that road? Well, we love that yeah, kind of yeah. stuff. I mean, we my favourite stuff is your 80s horror. So, like, mm. Evil Dead 2, Reanimator, From Beyond, like, Peter Jackson's Brain Dead. We just thought, we want to do that kind of stuff. We want to do yeah. puppets and guys in costumes. And mm. a lot of the humour comes out of how absurd it is. Because, <laughs> you know, in Brain Dead, when he comes in with a lawnmower and he's cutting them all up, I was like, let's make something like that. Yeah. I, want, I want to entertain people in that way. But practical effects, yeah, the time it takes on set is insane. Which is why a lot of people kind of shortcut with CGI. But we didn't well, want to do well, a disservice to that this time. At our level, we were still working very low budget for this film. There's actually a misconception that um, CGI is cheaper. CGI is, but good CGI yeah. isn't. <laughs> we knew how to treat um, the practical effects. We had practical effects in Creature Below, uh -huh. and they got a good response, and it was down to Stuart's um, direction and Stuart's kind of the way he shot it and the lighting that we did. Um, so we kind of knew we could pull practical effects off. Um, we knew the actors would respond well to the practical effects, which would help their performance. Um, and I don't know, we, yeah, we just loved it, really. <laughs> so it, was, it seemed a sensible way to go. Um, until we decided to try and do Six Monsters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, and, uh, you crowdfunded it and you, and you gave your crowdfunders the opportunity to choose the monsters. Yeah. How did that work? Yeah, giving, doing the Kickstarter, we wanted to do a Kickstarter for this one, but originally we wanted to do a choose your own adventure style film. So mm. I was just telling Paul that it would be great if people could actually choose do they go this way, do they go that way? But obviously that practicality of that is insane. So we thought, well, let's limit it to six choices. Monsters, the way people die in the film, the weapons that they use, and let's play on the tropes and the, the kind of the cliches of horror movies. So one of them was like um, the trope that must die. So it was like a sexy shower scene or the, the car yeah, won't the start. Car, yeah. So what we did is we put a twist on those. So the audience voted on um, all of those elements. They chose the monsters as well. And yeah. then we had a mad dash <laughs> from the moment the Kickstarter ended to actually put those into, the script. into the script. Uh -huh. Yeah, which was, that was a really bizarre experience, but a really great one. Um, because in some respects, we weren't in control of the story 100%. But I think the audience and the fan base really, really responded well to that and just loved uh -huh. the idea that they had more of an input, not just a thank you credit on the film. Uh -huh. When they watched the movie at Bright Fest, they were able to say, oh, I, I chose that. And, oh, that was my monster, yeah. And it, uh -huh. I don't know, it, it seemed to engage really well. Um, it was a, an interesting one for us because we had to turn around things very quickly. Yeah. Um, and of course, there was a, quite a big special announcement yesterday. Yeah, yeah that was really cool. We, we literally kind of closed that deal just before we came down. And um, yeah, Dread Central Presents got international sales rights on the film and they're going to be distributing it in North America, doing yeah. limited theatrical run, DVD Blu-ray, all we sorts of goodies. Be with that. We, <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool. We said, like, when we first started out making the second one, um, we crowdfunded a lot of the budget. So our big goal was crowdfund it, get that made. Our second, well, 
Our main goal really was to get it into Fryfest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you understand how much that, yeah, that meant Yeah, it was the us. big goal, yeah. And then there was this far off in the distance, oh, Dread Central do a, uh, a Dread Central Presents. Could you imagine <laughs> if? Wouldn't it be so cool if? <laughs> and then suddenly we're there. So yeah. and it really is down to Frightfest and, and the fans and the way it's been kind of responded so well okay. to it. And of course, it's got sequel written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> well, you never know. I mean, we want to. We've got so many ideas. We want to just keep making new films and making different yeah. genres. We've got so many like subgenres of horror. We'd love to yeah, do a yeah. sci-fi horror one next. Definitely. Um, but we'll see what happens because if people really want one, we would definitely oh, do it. To see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the so, ending opens it up to it. Yeah. Uh, well, boys, congratulations on on the pickup. I, I, I couldn't be more pleased for you. Thank you. Thank you so and uh, thanks for coming along and giving us one of the highlights of the weekend. Oh, <laughs> thank, thank you, you so, that much. so much. Thank you.